Hello, guys. Good evening, everybody. Let me know if you can hear me. Hello? Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hola, hola. ¿Me escuchan? Hello? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Jonathan. Good to see you. Okay, so let's get started. And uh, let, me just, let me just share my screen so we can start. See, so we're going to start with the task, right? About the activities we started yesterday. So, um, let's see, Jonathan, what do you remember from the previous topic? What do you remember? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Morena. Good to see you. Okay, what do you remember, Jonathan, from the previous classes? Yes, mm -hmm. what did we study yesterday? Give me teacher, I remember recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, what did we study yesterday? Mm -hmm. Let's see, Morena, what did we study? Mm -hmm. Hello, Morena. ¿Qué estoy estudiando? No, ¿qué estudiamos ayer? ¿Qué estudiamos ayer? What did ayer no estuve, ayer no estuve en clase. Okay, okay, okay. So, Jonathan, it has to be you. Okay, so, um, basically what we studied yesterday, uh, it was about simple past, right? Simple past, right? That we have two options of verbs. For example, the irregular, the regular verbs, and also we have the regular verbs. Okay, what else, Jonathan, did we study? Do you remember? Hello, Jonathan? No? Okay. So we also study, for example, affirmative, affirmative sentences using, using the simple past. Using the simple past, we study also questions and short answers to short. Give me teacher, que, mm -hmm. que estoy en la plataforma quedándome en la cabeza con un ejercicio y se me ha olvidado. Give me. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, let's see. Okay, we study questions, short answers, and negatives, right? Negatives. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que utilizamos? What is the auxiliary that we use for the simple past? Did. Did, right. That's right. We use did when we have questions, right? Did you study yesterday? Did you study yesterday? No. Okay. No, right. No. <laughs> did it? No. Or yes, right, in the case of Jonathan. <laughs> Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have uh, affirmative sentences, right? For example, I studied. I studied. I studied yesterday. Or in negative, right? Didn't. Didn't study. Okay. So, do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas? Do you have questions about the structure or something? Maybe you have doubts. No questions? Okay, so good. Uh, this is what we studied yesterday. Let's have a look of the lesson. Uh, we have a task for today. And uh, the task was that you have to choose five questions right and explain and explain them with your information so since vamos a elegir entonces el día de ayer les dejé la tarea ustedes tienen que elegir cinco preguntas right five questions and you have to explain each of them okay since morena no sé si usted lo hizo jonathan did you do the homework Teacher, ayer no, no, no nos alcanzó el tiempo y no teníamos esta parte con, con Jorman, creo que estábamos. 
-hmm. No teníamos esta parte, solo la otra. Okay, so let's do something. Uh, we are going to complete this section. Les voy a dar tiempo. What you have to do is to choose five questions, right? Vamos a elegir five questions. The ones you want, and then you're going to share with me your responses. Okay, I'm going to give you some time for you to work. Les voy a dar unos minutos para que ustedes puedan completar the task. And then you are going to share with me. For example, you can choose, tell me about your last vacation. Where did you go? Or for example, what did you do for your last birthday? Or maybe you can talk about your first crash, right? So many more if you want to talk about that. Or yeah, there are some bands, for example, you can choose five questions. Vamos a elegir las cinco preguntas. Then answer, choose five questions. Five questions. Remember, this is for you to practice English, right? Point that you can practice. Okay, I'm going to give you some minutes. I'm going to stay quiet. Let me know if you have questions. Okay. Okay, hello, Amanda. Okay, ahorita you have to choose. Tenemos que, que escoger cinco preguntas, right? Esta tarea se la dejé el día de ayer. Si ya la tenemos, you can share. But if not, you can do it now. Okay, Amanda. Tenemos que elegir las cinco preguntas de las que tenemos uh, on the board. And you have to explain, right? For example, if you want to talk about vacations, about your last birthday, what you did, about your first crash. Podemos elegir cinco preguntas, right? Si ya lo tiene, you can share with us. Okay, let me know, Amanda. Okay, okay, Amanda. So you can work right now. Podemos trabajar ahorita las cinco preguntas. And uh, then you can share with us. Okay, Amanda? Okay, teacher, thank you.
just remember guys, the ones that are just entering, remember that you have to present this question, right? Okay, so I'm gonna give you four minutes more and then you are going to present the five questions, okay? Okay, guys, time is over. So is there a volunteer who wants to present the questions? Hay alguien que quiera compartir the questions? Or if not, I can choose some of you. Volunteers, is there a volunteer, guys? No? Okay, so let's start with Mario. Hello, Mario, are you there? Mario Claros. Yes. Sí. Solo uno, ahí va. Yes, only one. <laughs> okay, Mario, can you share your questions, please, with us? Okay, este. Eh, bueno, vamos a. Eh, number one. Uh -huh. Tell me about your last vacation. In, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. In your case, Mario? I, I, I go to the United States. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the Orlando, Florida. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bef um, 
before pandemia, COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And I, vis I visit the, the Disney World. Mm -hmm. And, 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 Miami Beach. Miami Beach, okay. Okay, number number 15. Okay, number 15. What was your first to be like? Mm -hmm. It's a black and white mm -hmm. in 1972. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A long time ago, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, number 18. Mm -hmm. Number 18, okay. 18, mm -hmm. 18. Okay, what's band were popular when you were young? And the people? The Beatles, okay. the Beatles, mm -hmm. the Beatles, and teacher or master of Liverpool. Master of Liverpool. The maestro, oh. los maestros de Liverpool. Oh, really? I never heard about that band. And ten. Ten, okay. You then see how ten. did you come here? Mm -hmm. And. Uh, looking for an English program. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the last one. Okay, este, one finish. More. One more. Una más nos hace falta, Mario. One more. Okay. Uh, mm, Mm -hmm, Mario, oh, one more. You... Who was your first crush? That one? <laughs> I, I don't understand. ¿Quién fue su primer amor? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> my, my wife, my, you have My to teacher. <laughs> <laughs> your teachers, okay. They my were teacher. your first crush. Okay, yeah. that's good, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Mario. Okay, let's listen some others, uh, some others' opinion. Can you present your information? Maybe Amanda, I'm, I'm not sure if you are ready. Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. My questions. La, 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 la número dos. Espérame, espérame. La número dos. Number two. Mm -hmm. Sí, dice, what did you do for your last birthday? Mm -hmm. For me, 21 birthday, cook a cake. Mm -hmm. uh, luego respondí la 13. Number 13, okay, 13. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your best or most, most worst school teacher. Mm -hmm. Y puse mi, mi respuesta. Her name was Celia. It was screaming and uh, angry. Mm -hmm. Angry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y la 14. Okay, la 14. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what you did for the last 24 hours. Okay. Work. I work mm -hmm. and to church. Mm -hmm. Y ya hasta ahí, por ahí iba. Estoy todavía trabajando en otras dos. Okay, work in the others and then I come back to your answers. Okay, Amanda? Okay. Okay, okay perfect. Uh, I don't know if, uh, let me see, Adonias, are you ready with the answers? Hello, Adonis. Hello. Hello, are you ready with the answers? Um, sí, ¿Mm? yo las tengo listas. Sí, estamos listas. 
with the answers? Yes. Mm -hmm. Number number seven. Number seven, okay. Mm -hmm. What was the best meal you had recently? Recently, okay. What number? Oh, number 14. Um, what? It, or which one? Mm, no, no, no. Uh, number seven. Me, me, me equivoqué. Me pasé mm -hmm. a la nueve porque también la tengo. Okay. Tell me about where you live as a child. Mm -hmm. As a child. Mm -hmm. Child. I live in Garita Palmera. Mm -hmm. uh, number, number nine. Mm -hmm. What was the best meal you had recently? Mm -hmm. Typical typical dish and um, tacos. Plato tacos. Tipico y tacos. Mm -hmm. yes. And number number fifteen. Fifteen, okay. What was your first TV like? Mm -hmm. My first first program is saw on TV was the Sentinelas. Sentinelas, okay. Sí. Mm -hmm. Number, number. Eso se me escapó ponerle. Ah, es 18. 18, okay. Mm -hmm. yes. What bands were popular when you were young? Young. Mm -hmm. Grow mana. Mana, okay, yes, right. Mana, I remember mana. It was a great man. Okay. Okay, another uh, Adonis? Solo esas cuatro. Okay, work in the last one, then I'll come back with you and then you can answer the last question, okay, Adonis? Okay. Okay, so let's listen to, uh, let me see, Joelman, are you ready, Joelman? No? Okay, so let's listen to maybe Gloria. Are you ready, Gloria? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Gloria, good evening. For me, it's uh, number one. Uh, number one. Mm -hmm. to last vacation. Mm -hmm. uh, Tell me. For me, they are, uh, for me, uh, interesting vacation is necessary for my life. Mm -hmm. uh, is um, with my family, uh, I go to the beach. Mm -hmm. I prefer uh, with my family, I go to the shore. Mm -hmm. Church, yeah. A church. Mm -hmm. uh, it's necessary to uh, pray every day. Mm -hmm. It's necessary with Santa, no me recuerdo como dice, with Semana Santa. Ah, uh, Holy Week, Holy Week. Uh, holy Week is necessary. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and the moment the, the uh, pray, mm -hmm. uh, relax, uh, sleep mm -hmm. in my house. Okay. For me, is 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 vacation. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, what did mm -hmm. you do for your last Twitter? Um, Every um, my brother is celebration with my family. Um, in the morning they are with my family in the lunch. Uh, mm -hmm. No, breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, let's go um, with my friend. Um, mm -hmm. Lunch is restaurant. Okay. Uh, uh, Number three, uh, who was your first cruise? Cruise mm -hmm. is my is first cruise is um, Jose is the person interested in, in secondary. Mm -hmm. Only <laughs> <laughs> number. Um, uh, 
uh, uh, tell me about what you did for the last 24. Mm -hmm. um, in the morning, I go to the... Uh, bat, bat. Mm -hmm. um, um, I... Digamos, eat a breakfast. Mm -hmm. I go to the driving with my dog. Mm -hmm. And it's a, a, only a okay. number four. Mm -hmm. What was your first TV like? For me, is like the uh, first program is Messenger Z. Is mm -hmm. with my ch uh, children is mm -hmm. program interested is is friend is number five mm -hmm. is um, what bands were popular when you were young mm -hmm. is and the moment for me is este, um, the Mexico banda El Limón, banda El Recodo. Yeah. Is, mm -hmm. is este, listening con mm -hmm. Leodan, banda Limón with Leodan. Mm -hmm. um, only. Yeah, great bands, right? Moment. Leodan, yeah, great. <laughs> That's a great musician, yeah. Okay, perfect, Gloria. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, let's listen now to Morena. I don't know if you are ready, Morena. Mm. Bueno, yo hice unas cortas. Okay. Uh, la number two. Number two, okay. Uh, and we had a family dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, number um, once. Eleven. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Mm -hmm. uh, our, 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 our three year ego. I go. Mm -hmm. Ego. Uh, I go, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, 15. 15. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a draw. Mm -hmm. uh, 10. Mm -hmm. To grow, to work. Through work, eh? through work. Through work, through, okay. Through, through work. work, through. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. True, true word. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Let's work in the others. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you, Morena. Okay, just as a reminder, vamos a hacer eh, unas, pa unas palabras que debemos de mejorar right, while we are speaking. Okay, recordemos que estamos hablando en pasado, right? Las preguntas que tenemos acá. Están enfocadas en que, para que se pueda practicar el pasado. Entonces, por ejemplo, cuando le preguntan, tell me about your last vacation, right? Está diciendo de una actividad que ya pasó. Where did you go and what did you do? Ok, no tenemos que utilizar, por ejemplo, I go to church. Porque eso significa que es una actividad que estamos haciendo ahorita. Entonces, tiempo que tenemos que utilizar es el pasado. Sería, I went to church, right? Debemos respetar los tenses que tenemos. También, como les he mencionado, es importante hacer énfasis en los sonidos del pasado. Por ejemplo, ¿qué hiciste en tu cumpleaños? Yo cociné. Entonces, tenemos que hacer énfasis en el sonido. I cooked, right? Cooked. I cooked a cake, por ejemplo. Eh, también, eh, por ejemplo, cuando decimos yo vivía o yo viví en San Martín. 
I lived. Tenemos que hacer siempre énfasis en el sonido. I lived. Vamos a ver cómo hacer la diferencia entre los sonidos también, por si tenemos esa duda. Eh, también cuando estamos hablando de los programas, cuando usted era pequeño, ¿verdad? Tenemos que utilizar el verbo correcto. Por ejemplo, it was, o it was, por ejemplo, it was eh, Fox Bunny, digamos, o los Looney Tunes, si ese era su, su popular eh, TV show. Entonces, si en el caso que solo fue uno, vamos a utilizar it was. En el caso que fueron muchos, they were. Y veamos otro. Ya, yeah, más que todo tengamos cuidado with the tense, right? Porque estamos utilizando el presente instead of en lugar del pasado. Ok, no sé si hay dudas or questions about these uh, words. No sé si hay dudas. Or can I continue, guys? Uh, teacher, uh -huh. it, yes. it, uh, uh, it's correct to say I was my, 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 my TV, I was my TV black and white. Oh, my first, we can my say. My TV was black and white. Okay, my. Okay, you say, let's see, my first TV. My okay, first my first TV. TV show White. was, and the name, so the name era Black, Black and White. Así entiendo yo que se llamó la serie, right? Black okay. and White. Pero siempre was, right? Mm -hmm. Eso, it was before, eh, fue antes. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so take care with that. Vamos a, vamos a seguir a reinforce this topic that it is essential, right? Okay, we are going to study today about was and where, right? Was and where. If we want to translate them, si lo queremos traducir, it is when you say yo estuve o yo, o yo fui, maybe. But maybe yo estuve en algún lugar o tú estuviste. So, tenemos dos, we have two options. Tenemos was and we have where. Estos reemplazan el verbo to be. Okay. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar el was? Lo vamos a utilizar con I, he, she, and it. Okay. Estos los vamos a reemplazar, right? We can use them con was. Then we have where. Vamos a utilizar where cuando tengamos plurales más que todo. Most of plurals. Plurals, cuando usted tiene you, when you have we, and when you have they. Okay. Um, okay, let's do, let's study some sentences. Acá voy a agregar cuando tengamos singular words. Singular por cuando tengamos palabras en singular. Por ejemplo, uh, in my last vacation, como estamos hablando de las vacaciones. In my last vacation, I was in Mexico. En mi última vacación yo estuve in Mexico, right? Okay. Por ejemplo, my friends, my friends, ¿qué puedo utilizar ahí? Was or were? ¿Qué tengo que utilizar? Was or were in that sentence? Were. Were. Uh -huh. My friends were with me on vacation. Okay. So, uh, do you have questions cuando vamos a utilizar was or were? No questions? Okay. Entonces, so we have como pregunta, right? Question. We have, were you in Hawaii? Estuviste en Hawaii? Yes, I was. O podemos también decir, no, I wasn't. Tenemos el sujeto weather, right? Weather is singular, so we're going to use was. Was the weather okay? ¿Estuvo el clima aceptable o estuvo bien? 
yes, it was, or no, it wasn't. Acá si se fijan, tenemos two subjects, you and your cousins. Por eso les mencionaba los plurals, right? So we're going to use where? Were you and your cousin on vacations? Yes, we were, or no, they weren't, or yeah, or no, we weren't, right? We have. Then we have where your parents, plural, right? Plurals. Is that where? No, they weren't, or yes, they were. How long were you away? ¿Cuánto tiempo estuviste fuera o lejos? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Okay, uh, I don't know if you have questions about this section. ¿Cómo estuvo, right? Questions about that? No questions? Okay, let's have a practice then. Vamos a practicar entonces. So in the first part, can you help me uh, maybe, Joelman? Vamos a hacer, we're going to do number one. What do we have to use? Was or where? Uh, were you? Yeah, right. Were you? Can you please, Julian? Were you in Los Angeles last mm -hmm. week? No, I weren't. Mm. No, I wasn't. Mm. wasn't. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Mm. I was. Mm -hmm. uh, was in San Francisco. Yeah, I was in San Francisco. Continue. Sería how 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 was is it? How was it? Solo how was. How was? How was? It was great. It was great. Continue. But it. It was right. It was. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Yolman. Can you help me with number two? And no sé, hidráulica, SA, SBA, I don't know who you are. Can you help me with number two? Okay. Okay. Go ahead, please. How long? Uh, what is where? Where, right? How long? Where? Very good. Continue. Continue, please. Continuemos, please. They? Mm -hmm. Hello? They? Okay. They were, right? There? And then uh, they um, uh, where? Yes, right. Where? where? Uh -huh. Continue. Uh, no, they were. Oh, they weren't. Where? Weren't. Uh -huh. Because it is negative, right? Okay. No, they weren't. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Can you help me with the next? One, uh, Morena Medina, please, the last one. Number three. Hola. Sí, la clase. Uh -huh. uh, where? Uh -huh. It is where. Okay, where? Continue. Yes, I was. Uh -huh. uh, really among you there. Uh, was. We have you. Uh, right? Where, where, where? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How long, where? Mm -hmm. You. Where? Okay, continue. Uh, what? In was to the right. In mm was. -hmm. Okay, there you have perfect. Do you have questions? Do you have questions, guys? Recordemos something very important. Cuando tengamos preguntas, el was or el where siempre van a ir al principio. Si es una yes no question, okay? Si tenemos una WH question, right, va a ir luego, después de la WH question. Mm -hmm. Ok, don't forget that. Ok, uh, no more questions, guys. Sí.
que yo tengo una duda, pero con un ejercicio de la plataforma. Uh -huh. Dígame, John más. No sé por qué, pero no, no lo pude terminar. Uh -huh. el, el de la, en la sección 1, uh -huh. el ejercicio 1.11. Si me pudiera compartir una imagen en el chat, Jolman, para ver el, el ejercicio, porque no lo tengo. Ah, permítame. Ok, sí. si nos pudiera compartir eso. Porque a veces lo que pasa es que a veces no le agregamos la mayúscula o a veces no hace falta una coma o un punto. Y por eso sí se la puede, puede ponérselo como malo. Ah. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Consideremos eso también. A veces le pide que sea mayúscula de todo. Entonces, sí. Okay, let's, let's continue. No sé si, ¿is there any other observation or question? No? Ok, so let's move on to the next part. Lo que les vengo mencionando, right, about the pronunciation. Ok, about the, que tengamos cuidado with the pronunciation, right? Así que vamos a ver when to use. Tenemos los tres tipos de pronunciation. Tenemos el, por ejemplo, this one, waited, decided, tenemos aquellos que terminan win, el sonido de la t. Y tenemos el sonido de la d. Ok, ¿cuándo lo vamos a pronunciar de esta forma? Cuando, when the verb ends in t or d. Ok, cuando el verbo termina, ya sea en t or d, lo vamos a pronunciar using it, right? Por ejemplo, este verbo, wait. En pasado, waited, waited. Tenemos el siguiente que termina en D, el sonido en D, sería decided, decided. Ok, eso sería when we have this case. Ahora, ¿cuándo lo vamos a pronunciar con T? With. ¿Cuándo el sonido? Más que todo lo vamos a ver en la terminación del verbo. Por ejemplo, este termina en GH, que sería laugh, laugh. Termina el sonido en F, right? Entonces, pronunciar en el pasado with t sería laughed, laughed. Tenemos que el verbo termina en un sonido de la k, ¿verdad? K. Tenemos look, looked. Tenemos el siguiente verbo stop, termina en stopped. Tenemos el siguiente verbo miss, termina en sonido de la s, sería missed. Este que termina en sh, finish. En pasado sería finished. Tenemos el siguiente watch. CH, watched. Entonces tenemos que fijarnos en cómo termina el verbo, right? That is the key. Tenemos el siguiente sonido con la D. El verbo termina en, en una consonante, right? Por ejemplo, estas consonantes que tenemos. Listen, listened. Tenemos el verbo change, changed. Tenemos el verbo live, lived. Play, played. Agree, agreed. Borrow, borrow. Se nos dice la regla que el verbo that ends in other consonant in vowel, we're going to say it even with ed or with d. Ok, no sé si tengamos dudas. Or question. This is very important, right? It's something that you have to practice. Okay, no sé. Questions about this topic? Mm -hmm. No questions? Okay, so let's have a practice then. Let's practice this part. So, we're going to practice this. Se me va a decir, for example, if si termina en el sonido de la T, de la D o de la I. Ok. Es un momento de share with you. And get ready, right? Ustedes me ayuden to identify the sound. Ok, just a moment. Ok. Okay, 
So let's do the first one. Vamos a hacer the first one. Okay, let's see. Uh, maybe Amanda, can you help me with the first one, Amanda? ¿Cuál será el sonido del verbo if we want to say in the past? Tenemos el D el y el ID. ¿Cuál sería? Uh, uh -huh. Termina en SH, right? En SH era... era uh -huh. Live. Mm -hmm. Sería? Live. Finished. With the? The? Uh -huh. Ok. Sí. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. No, pero... okay. ok. Sigamos. Let's continue with the next one. Mario, number two. Tenemos el verbo live. ¿Con cuál sonido lo vamos a decir in the past? Sería con el T, con el D o con el ID. 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 Yes. Ok. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Ok. Gloria, me ayuda. Number three, Gloria. Tenemos el verbo need. ¿Cómo lo vamos a pronunciar? ¿Con el T, con el D o con el ID? Need. Uh -huh. ¿Con cuál? Con la, con la D. Con la D. Ok. D, ok. Vamos a ver, eh, Morena. Number four, Morena. Tenemos as, as. ¿Con cuál sonido lo vamos? What sound? Which sound we can use it? Mm -hmm. Which one, Morena? The microphone. The microphone. El micrófono morena. Uh -huh. Which one? Con la D. Ok, vamos a ver. Ok, we're going to study that. Thank you, morena. Let's see. Luis, tenemos el verbo decide. Decide. ¿Con qué sonido? Which sound can we use that? One? Termina en D, right? Termina en D. ¿Con cuál sería? Luis. Oh. Ah, con ED, ok. Sí. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you, Luis. Let's listen, Jolman. Number six, Jolman. ¿Cuál sería el sonido? What is the sound for move? Teacher, I don't remember, but I guess move uh, T. T, eh? <laughs> okay, don't worry. We are, we are practicing. Estamos practicando, right? So don't, si tenemos dudas, we are going to solve them. Ok, Adonías, number seven. Tenemos el verbo escape. Escape. Letra D. ¿Y D? Mm, T. T, escaped. Ok. Let's see another. Uh, Mario, please, number eight. Stop. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? If, si lo queremos, if we want to pronounce them in the past. Stop, Mario. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, maybe you can help me, Amanda. Well, number eight. Letter T. Stop. Stop. Yes. Thank you, Amanda. Let's listen another. Uh, que dice hidráulica. I don't know. Si me regala your name, please. Rain it. Okay, sería with T, with T, or with ID, which one? ID. ID, okay. ED. Okay, perfect, thank you. And the last one, can you help me, Jolman, please? Tenemos clean. 
Cleaner. 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 Uh -huh. ¿En pasado cómo sería? Cleaner. Uh -huh. Cleaner. Clean. 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 With tea, okay. I'm going to go with tea. Bien, Clean. vamos a revisar, right? We're going to check if they are correct. Okay, so we have, digamos, dos, tres de diez. Okay, so we need to practice, right? Okay, tenemos the first one that it is with tea, right? Finish, finished. Tenemos lived with D, right? Lived. No podemos decir lived, no. Tenemos the next one, need, que dijeron with D, y eres with E, D. Needed, needed. Luego tenemos ask, asked, sí. Tenemos decide, decided, esta sí la hicimos bien. Then we have moved, dijimos with T, y es with D, right? Moved. Tenemos escape, esta la hicimos bien, escaped. Stop, stopped. Rain, es with D, right? Rained. Clean, cleaned. Ok, that was the test, right? Les voy a compartir this page para que ustedes, you can practice. Y también les voy a compartir the, the information from the presentation. I think that is important. Do you have questions, guys, about the past? I don't know if you have questions. Mm -hmm. No questions? Okay, here you have the information. And also, let's voy a compartir this page for you to practice, right? The pronunciation. Okay. Is that? It's in the, in the WhatsApp. Eh, solo estoy ver. Ok, estamos ahorita. Recordemos que las fechas, este es, no sé si están en qué sección está. Veo que solo la publicó este ejercicio. Este ejercicio, no sé, so, ¿quién es so? Who is so? Estoy viendo que me enviaron. Hey guys, do you have questions about that topic or we can move on with the next activity? No questions? No? Okay. So let's have a look of this practice. Practice this section. And uh, let's discuss this. We are talking about vacations, right? Okay, tell me, Adonias, what, where did you spend your last vacation? Where did you spend your last vacation, Adonias? Mm -hmm. Hello, Adonias, where did you spend your last Hello. vacation? Mm -hmm. mm, pues, ya no recuerdo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't remember. Okay, okay. So try to remember, right? Your last vacation. When? Where did you go? Your last vacation, or on weekends? What did you do on weekends? What did you do? El fin de semana. What did you do on weekends, Adonis? In department, department, Aguachapán. Ok, entonces sería I was, right? Debemos utilizar el pasado. I was in my apartment. Lo escuché bien, my apartment. I was in my apartment in Aguachapán. Yes. Tratemos de, de utilizar el the tense, right? The tense in the past. Okay, guys, if there are no more questions, I will end the meeting. Y recordemos estudiar siempre los verbos, right? That is very essential if you want to speak English, right? Okay, guys, if you don't have questions, I will say goodbye. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. See you guys. Bye.
Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. See you.